what's up, everybody? Brian Wagner, senior editor at Drags, in here with Brian Monday. Monday tune, right? That's right. Just got done working on Project Number Cruncher, and we had this on your hub dyno, and we did some remote tune with Lewis from F Fuel Tech. Let's talk about, you know, with for our viewers to understand, what's the difference typically between a hub dyno and your typical chassis dyno? Well, I think that that's a common question that a lot of people have. And uh, fortunately, I've had the experience over the years of working on uh, both chassis roller, hub dynos, and a variety of different makes and models. With that being said, um, I guess you would say, not I guess, some of the advantages of a hub-based dyno, which is what we're working with here today, we have a, a much more repeatable nature. So what that means is this vehicle is directly hooked up to the hubs. There's no wheel slip. The tires don't change size. We don't have to worry about a, a drag radial changing the different types of load. Um, and since you've got a direct hook through the transmission to the motor, it works very similar to an engine dyno. That means I have the control of where the run starts and where it stops and making it exactly the same every time. So for today, working with Lewis at FuelTech, what we could do is repeatable runs, make adjustments and know that we're seeing exactly the changes from the tune, not variations in a dyno. And that's really important when you're tuning something, especially the race car, to remove those X factors so you have surgical precision with how you're tuning the car. That's correct. Um, and, and so many times over the years, I've been through the situations with a higher horsepower car like what we have today, rear wheel drive, on the dyno, different conditions where you need to try to adjust the way things are strapped down on a roller. You need to maybe put weights in the trunk. Um, I've seen some videos where there are actually people sitting in the truck. I wouldn't recommend anything like that. You never do something like that. Correct. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, another advantage that goes with the hub dyno is this, the model that we have here at Monday Tune, the rear is rated for 3,000 horsepower. Um, 3,000 horsepower, um, repeatable runs is just not something that you can do on a roller dyno. Um, and then today, uh, working with uh, Lewis at Fuel Tech, we did some uh, dead stop runs, which uh, you've got a video of. That'll be pretty exciting. So that means that we go straight from a stop. We can come off the trans brake, run through the gears, simulate drag runs, do things back to back, and uh, it's really just a great time. And it gives you the confidence knowing that things are safe and controlled. And it's not a dig on wheel dynos. There's nothing wrong with those, but it's it's something when you need the precision. Because you know, you see the videos of Fuel Tech. They're doing you know, pulling tractors, 5,000 horsepower pro mods, right. and you did something to start with a, with a hub dyno, which is a little bit different. You kind of had to sight this in like a precision firearm, didn't you? That's correct. So uh, the comment that I made, we've got a direct drive between the, the wheel hub speed and the speed that the engine is running. Um, so when we uh, configure these cars at first, we're not relying just on a tack pickup like a, a traditional dyno does. Once that's configured and set, and it does take a little time to set it up correctly, it gives us the ability to start and stop at different RPMs. So for example, on this car, or any car, we could pick, let's just say 4,000 RPM or 4,500 RPM. We run it to 4,500 RPM, it's gonna stop. I can apply a full throttle to the car all the way up to 3,000 horsepower and it holds still. That gives the tuner, fuel tech in this uh, case, the ability to look at the maps, make the adjustments with the precision that's required. In fact, um, the, the hub dynos, they're a little bit newer, right? The, the roller dynos, an older design. Since um, these have been on the market, companies like FuelTech have been using these as a precision tool. I've had the, uh, the capability to use a hub dyno for several years, and it gives us the advantage to not only make changes, but also push the industry in a new direction. And, and speaking from a tuner standpoint, not just a dyno owner operator standpoint, how does having the, the, the hub dyno help you with you know, these higher horsepower cars? Well, um, there's several things. I don't have a list of bullet points, but uh, one of them is precision. So when a customer comes to Monday Tuned, um, I wanna make sure that I deliver a quality product. So I need a quality and precision tool to do that. That's what one of the things that the hub dyno provides. The other is uh, safety. And I'm not talking about safety, uh, a roller dyno debate. I'm talking about having a dyno. You don't want to be out on the street trying to drive things, breaking the speed limit. These cars today can easily surpass a thousand or more horsepower. It's just not safe. Uh, and then the other thing that the, the hub dyno allows us to do is really that steady state tuning with big horsepower. Um, I get a lot of, uh, of domestic rear wheel drive street cars. So for example, uh, it's not out of the range of possibilities for a Dodge Hellcat, for example, to make a thousand horsepower pretty easily. 
and being able to properly dial in that calibration by holding it in a steady state at different RPMs, adjusting the air-fuel ratio and the timing to look at the maximum brake torque, you just can't do it without a tool like this. And that's the thing I think you need to stress too, is that dynos are tools. It's not the end-all, be-all. Right. You know, and kind of, you saw what we talked about when you came in, that we had this car at the track, it just wasn't happy. Tuning at the track, we'd have burned through a lot of fuel, a lot of time, a lot of spark plugs. And that's the other advantage of having a hub dyno for a race car, is we made, what, three or four pulls, and this thing was lights out, ready to go. That's correct. Um, and when you talk about the, uh, the weekend bracket racer all the way to uh, alcohol dragster, we do get uh, customers in here from mild to wild, and that's a great benefit for them. Because the, the flip side of the coin is if they're having issues at the track, you've got to try to make it when you have a window for test and tune, you got to hope nobody, you don't break, you got to hope nobody else breaks, the track conditions are what they want, and those track conditions aren't going to stay similar even in the same day. Or you can come in here and now have a 2,000 plus horsepower vehicle that you would run at the track. You can come in for a four, four hour block, six hour block and make six, 10, 12 pulls, make all the adjustments that you need to make um, in a safe and controlled environment. And you mentioned bracket racers and stuff like that. That's something that, you know, any racer could really use the hub dyno as a tool locally if they have access to it. We make a trip to one because you have that controlled environment where you can see what the car is going to like. You can make a jet change. You can make a pulley change on a blower car. That way you're not wasting time at the track. Yes, and uh, one other advantage of the, of the hub dyno is since we can come uh, take off from a dead stop, we can use a trans brake, for example, um, or uh, anti-lag if it's a turbo application. Uh, but another big benefit that we've realized over the last several years is the ability to adjust transmissions and shift points. With a lot of the newer transmissions that are out there, we have uh, Allison six speeds, eight speeds, and even 10 speeds. There's a lot of things that go on in the programming, and we have the ability here on this dyno to stop from a, a run from a dig or a dead stop and shift through all of the gears, adjust those shift points, and then see exactly what it does with the horsepower, just like we did with yours and that big torque that it made. Yeah, we'll, we'll have that video posted up later, but you know, if anybody has any questions about hub dyno related stuff, where, you know, they want to hit you up, where they can hit you up at? Uh, well, uh, hashtag MondayTuned is uh, the best place to start with my uh, call sign, and then www.mondaytuned.com. It's a, uh, uh, an easy to get to website. I have a frequently asked questions section on there. A contact me directly and then bullet points on what to expect to prepare for a dyno. There you have it folks, if you've got a race car that you really want to dial in, hit up Monday or hit up any other local hub dyno to get that car dialed in to get it where you need it.